Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Star Trek Online 23rd Century Starfleet Campaign. We're back with the mission Facility 4028. And let's approach the facility and hopefully talk to the founder. Maybe the Founder will be willing to help us with our Jem'Hadar problem on Deep Space Nine. And the Warden asks, probably quite wisely, why there is a Jem'Hadar vessel in orbit. And we'll tell him that the Vort is actually our guest. And he is here to see the Founder. So we'll have to try to convince Aaron to wait on his ship. The Founders are wise in all things. The Dominion has endured for over 2,000 years. We will continue to do so. And I don't know why that um, his transporter signal was being blocked, considering They've demonstrated that they can just transport right through uh, signal blockers. I'm here to reach a mutually beneficial solution. So it's not that you're unwelcome, but there are security concerns. And I love this line at the end. I'm sure Starfleet thinks it's very clever and has all sorts of electronic defenses, but as we've proven in the past, even your most well-defended locations are vulnerable to a squad of Jem'Hadar warriors. I'm here to reach a mutually beneficial solution. So we'll ask him to wait here until we speak to the Borden. We shall beam down. We won't take Tarsi. It will take to met because we might need a bit of healing. And in case you don't know where to go, there's a handy line that you can summon. Anti chamber A. Now there's a small Our problem on this mission with doors. Follow the blue line to isolation zone A. Sometimes your bridge officers don't really know how to navigate Processing these particular doors. A. And they'll get stuck behind them. ISIS access granted. How may I assist you? You may proceed. Isolation and authorized zone visitor a. must report to the warden. So Follow here's the, the warden. To isolation zone a. What can you tell me about the facility? And it's essentially a maximum security prison. However, it's completely staffed, or at least almost with photonic personnel, which is Otherwise holograms. Must report to the warden. Follow the blue line to isolation zone A. So what should we call you? Is it just the warden? Okay, so his name is just the Warden. Fair enough. Authorized I'm here to see the Founder. To the 
Follow the blue line to isolation zone A. Oh, apparently we were supposed to speak to someone else as well. I suppose we can speak to someone else while we're here. Extending walkway. Now, as usual, you can fall off these light bridges. And you can talk to the other prisoners as well by operating these terminals. Inmate 98639. And this one's an undine, and you can open the cell door if you choose. There are force fields behind them. However, we want this particular cell. Inmate 53160. Now, you might recognize this person Amar Singh. He was from way back in the Klingon arc. So let's speak to him. Yeah, this is kind of ironic how Starfleet would send us, of all of the officers, to speak to him, considering we put him here. But yeah, genetic manipulation is illegal. And I think your research is dangerous, but it's up for Starfleet Command to make a final decision. So maybe the Warden has filled out his paperwork by now. Hopefully we can speak to the Founder. Now when he's granted permission for Aaron to beam down. The Founder is being held in Isolation Zone B. Isolation Zone A. The Founders are wise in all things. Your psychographic profile is required reading for Vorta Field Supervisors. Follow me, I'll take you to the Founder. Now, the safety of the Founder is now our responsibility. And in case you get lost, you can summon a line to Isolation Zone B. Main holding. And on both sides of this big holding area, there are, I think, around 10, maybe 12 prisoners that you can look at. There might be an accolade involved in that, I'm not sure. And Timet seems to be taking her time. I don't think Timet is stuck, she's just taking her time. Processing zone B. You may proceed. Isolation zone B. Extending walkway. And sadly, you can't explore the rest of the prison. Those are blocked off. They were upstairs as well. And here is where the Founder lives. Access granted.
Access granted. And we'll lower the force field. And we'll talk to the founder. We have a situation at Deep Space Nine that we need your help with. Why did you choose to surrender to the Federation? Now, I don't think Starfleet Intelligence created the virus that infected the Great Link. I think that was Section 31. I could be mistaken, though. A boarder came here with me. I'll take you to him. Let's go. Founder, your ordeal is at an end. Save your sycophancy for a more appropriate time, Aaron. I want to leave this place. Founder, we have taken DS9 in your name and are prepared to extend our campaign throughout the Quadrant. Give your blessing to our victory. We are yours to command. I know you, Karo Khan. Your fleet failed us in the battle for Deep Space Nine. We lost because you did not arrive. The fleet was diverted, passing through the anomaly. We did I not- I need soldiers, Karo Khan, not excuses. You failed the Dominion once. I will not give you the opportunity to do so again. No. It can't! Ah! Attack! Kill everyone but the Founder! We are dead! We go into battle to reclaim our lives! Not so fast. Did you really think I would come here without protection? Soldiers of the Gamma Quadrant, show yourselves! Defend your God! It's an ambush. And note there are no security guards. That's because the computer core is offline, and there are power surges all throughout the station, or power failures all over the station. Which, I'm surprised that there are uh, energy barriers left up. So I'm going to keep Timet in this room. So that way she doesn't get stuck on a door. Because that tends to happen. At I least in this mission. And I we'll try to get line. this Second computer line. core. Engaged. Try to get this computer core up and running. Secondary ISIS core. Okay, let's try security override. Okay, it can't do that. What do we need to restore the primary core? We need to subdue the prisoners. ISIS is offline. Emergency protocols engaged. Now, there's two protocols here. Every time I tried the non-lethal protocol, I'd get stuck, because the non-lethal protocol, you have to defeat all the prisoners, and then you have to basically arrest them by interacting with them. However, for some reason or another, not every prisoner has an interact prompt to send them back to their cell. 
So we're going to have to do the lethal protocol. Lethal option selected. Inmates must return to their cells in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so is a violation of facility regulations. And as soon as we pick a protocol, enemies spawn. So we're going to have to rush our way back here and deal with the prisoners. Now hopefully, Temet has me covered when it comes to healing. Bridge officers usually do. Violence is against facility regulations. All inmates are ordered to return to their cells. Okay, that's section one secured. Now let's wait for Temet. Hopefully... Yep, good, she made it through the door. it for this side of the room. The only way to get to the other side of the room is on these walkways. Weapon fire detected. Possession of weapons is a violation of facility regulations. does it for this room. Let's continue on to the next. Okay, I think that's section 2 secured. Now, section 3 might be a bit tough. I'm actually going to move this power down here and this Failure power right must next return to it. To their cells in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so is a violation of facility regulations.
just have to clear out these last gem hadar, and that should be it for the prison. The last prisoner you actually get for free, no matter which uh, protocol you choose. You should return to your cell. So he thinks that he's just going to be able to stroll right out the front door. We don't think he's going to get outside the facility. Okay, so he's got it all planned out. And there's no way out. And we can't really guarantee his safety unless he returns to his cell. And he's pretty much got it all calculated in his head. Prisoner secured. Transporting to safe zone now. Primary ISIS core. So that's it for the prisoners. Let's bring the core back online. And hopefully the warden is back online. Yep, diagnostic cycle complete. Can you take it from here? Hey, great. We'll be leaving with the Founder now. Primary ISIS core. And Tomet didn't get stuck on a door. Let's beam out. Haru Khan apparently wants to speak to us. Surrender the Founder and your pet, and you will survive, Captain. Refuse, and I will destroy your ship. He's bluffing. He can't harm a Founder. I can, and I will, Forta. Victory is life. Go to warp while you still can. We'll hold them off. No! I will have the Founder! All ships, attack! Captain! Shields are 47% and falling! Evasive maneuvers! Pattern shown 6! Launch torpedoes! Full spread! Sir! We won't be able to hold them off forever, Captain! Get the Founder and Aeron back to TS-9 now! We need them alive! And that completes Facility 4028. However, there are two prisoners missing. Well, at least two. Taurus and someone named James Mera. Don't know anything about Mera, but Taurus had help. And if it indeed was the Iconians, there is nothing we can do about that.
However, the Founder and Aeron are willing to cooperate. So hopefully we can negotiate with Karu Khan and get Deep Space Nine back. Now I have done this mission before, so we can't get another Jem'Hadar tactical officer. I believe if you try it'll say, uh, cannot accept all rewards. I'm not sure what this personal shields thing is. But we'll take the Jem'Hadar personal shield this time. And we'll accept the next and last episode of this arc, Boldly They Road. Now that we have the aid of one of the Founders, we should have no trouble convincing the Jem'Hadar at Deep Space Nine to stand down and return to the Gamma Quadrant. Starfleet and the Klingon Empire are assembling a unified fleet to garrison the station and repair the damage from the battle. We want you to go with the Founder to negotiate the surrender of the remaining Jem'Hadar. Rendezvous with the Jem'Hadar ship near Deep Space Nine. You'll represent the interests of the Alpha Quadrant, but this should be a simple formality. Captain Kurland is headed to Deep Space Nine in the Defiant, along with the rest of the task force. He said to tell you, he's looking forward to seeing you on board the station again. And as part of the episode replay promotion that's going on right now, we also get the Shard of Possibilities. I'll just leave the tooltip up for a little bit. And we get one of the following uh, rewards at the end. Now for those interested, I'll briefly show you the Jem'Hadar uh, bridge officer that we got, or at least when I first played through this. Um, he doesn't come with all of this equipment. He actually doesn't come with any body armor, and he comes with a pistol instead of, instead of this uh, Jem'Hadar Polaron rifle. His traits are Engineered Soldier, which is plus 5% damage with melee attacks, plus 5% damage with ranged weapons, plus 3% critical chance, and plus 5% critical severity. So whenever he gets a critical uh, damage attack, he does 5% more damage. And the Shroud, um, those are the things that, uh, when they turn invisible, it's not quite a cloaking device, it's like a personal cloaking device kind of thing. But whenever they use it, they gain plus 600 stealth for 8 seconds, and whenever he fires his weapon, uh, he gains... well, he loses stealth, however, he does plus 20% all damage, that includes kit powers, I'm sure, for 10 seconds. So he can do quite a bit of damage. And he has superior peak health, so he's a little bit more resistant to toxic damage, which doesn't come up all that often. However, the main thing is the plus 15% maximum hit points. So if you put armor on him, that gives him even more hit points, that stacks with it. And I think that also stacks with the Ketra Cell White buff that uh, the Jem'Hadar can use. And Superior Stubborn is just overall useful because it makes him more resistant to hold, slow, and placate. Placate is uh, similar to makes you not able to do anything. So he's a pretty good bridge officer, and I would argue one of the best free ones that you can get. So I might use him in a couple of missions. However, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.